Hey guys, uh, what's going on? Um, I was waiting for some renders here on the other computer and I uh, decided to make a quick tip for you guys uh, on Cinema 4D. So um, the tutorial is going to be about uh, collisions and uh, rigid bodies. So uh, it's going to be a short and quick tip and I hope you follow along. So let's get on to it. Okay guys, so let's get on to our tutorial. So uh, this is one of the files that I put on the download link and uh, you should be ready to, to go with it. So um, uh, on the example I, I made up uh, with a cube and on this example I'm going to use a text for it. So um, I'm going to use the, the word uh, rise. That should be cool. And for the font I'm going to use Typograph Pro. It's a really cool font to use on your projects and whatever you want. So um, I'm going to increase a little bit this depth just to have uh, more space to, to collide with. That should be enough. That's okay. Um, once we have that, we have two objects to, to collide. So it's uh, the mode text and the plane. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my text a little bit up and I'm going to hit a tag uh, that is going to be rigid body. If I press play, uh, the, the text is going to fall on the floor and it's going to, because uh, the floor has no dynamics on it. So what you're going to do is going to add a collider body to the floor and once you press play, the the text is going to collide with the uh, with with the floor, so uh, we have our collision here. So uh, after that, uh, you can you can play a lot with dynamics and all this stuff uh, and all this stuff. So um, if you increase your bounce uh, and you press play, all your text is going to bounce a little bit more. Uh, that always depends on the on the depth and on on the on the size of the object that you that you are using. So um, I'm going to if you if you put your apply tag to children and put your elements to all. If you press play, like all the objects are going to separate from from each other. So uh, this has a huge bounce. So that's that's why the the objects uh, separated like a lot fast. So if you if you decrease that that bounce a little bit uh, less, um, you can use this for an inter. You can use this on a lot of stuff. So. Um, uh, the tutorial is, is like this, this is a quick tip, but um, you can play a little bit with this. So uh, if you put like this to none, and if you increase like uh, your friction, like that, and if you feel lower like your bounce, uh, you can, um, the object is going to stick more on the floor, you know. So um, it has like a billion possibilities for you to use. And um, this is it, like uh, collision, the uh, uh, rigid bodies uh, is this. So um, you can also like uh, animate this uh, to use the dynamics. So uh, if you if you put this like to off in here, a dynamic here, and uh, put this a little bit up on 60 and put it on, on uh, the dynamics is going to, only is going to act on the 60 frame. So um, Use this uh, on whatever you want and um, hope you enjoy this quick tip so uh, more is going to follow up. So uh, I'm going to work on the other interests that I have and uh, that was it. So guys, so uh, keep it up with a thumbs up and um, we're going to see you on another project uh, ahead. So bye.